Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Imaging City, your virtual passport to the world's most incredible destinations. Today we're diving into the heart of Italy to uncover the most beautiful towns this country has to offer. You ready? Let's get started. Number 8. Florence. Florence is located right in the beautiful Tuscany area. Florence is filled with so much art, history, and beautiful buildings that it feels like a museum under the open sky. The main attraction is the Duomo, a massive cathedral with a famous red dome made by a guy named Brunelleschi, a real symbol of the city. Next to it is a tall bell tower for awesome city views, and nearby, there's this place with bronze doors so pretty that Michelangelo called them, the gates of paradise. As you walk on the old stone streets, you'll see lots of cool statues and buildings. There's a square called Piazza della Signoria with a palace and a copy of the famous statue of David, the real one is in a museum with lots of other cool art. Art lovers will go nuts for the Uffizi Gallery. It's packed with paintings and sculptures from famous artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Botticelli. Then there's the Ponte Vecchio, an old bridge full of jewelry shops that's been a busy spot for hundreds of years. Number 7. Verona. Verona is a magical city that people fall in love with when they walk around its old streets. It's near the Adige River in northern Italy, and it's best known as the setting for Shakespeare's tragic love story, Romeo and Juliet. The star of the show is the Verona Arena, a huge ancient Roman stadium that's even older than the Colosseum and still hosts amazing music shows. Walking around, you'll find beautiful squares like Piazza del Erbi and Piazza Bra, buzzing with markets, cafes, and cool fountains. If you're into old buildings, check out Verona's churches and the Castel Vecchio with its big bridge. The castle is now a museum crammed with cool art and old-timey objects. Number 6. Venice. Welcome to Venice, here's why it's one of the prettiest cities in Italy. Picture a city where the streets are made of water and you get around in boats. That's Venice for you, absolutely unique with its canals and ancient buildings coming right up from the water. Venice is actually over 100 little islands put together, with lots of cute bridges and canals everywhere. The big one, called the Grand Canal, has all these fancy old houses along it. The main square, St. Mark's Square, is where you'll see the huge St. Mark's Basilica Church, covered in detailed designs, and a really tall tower that you can climb for an amazing view. Then there's the Rialto Bridge, a famous old bridge where you can see the whole canal and find some great shops too. You've got to try a gondola ride, those are the slim boats that glide through quiet canals for a super calm and romantic time. Art and movies are big in Venice, with lots of events that bring artists and movie stars to the city. There's a fun time called Carnival when everyone dresses up and wears masks. But Venice sometimes gets flooded, which is a bit sad because it shows the city might need our help to stick around for years to come. Number 5. Positano. Located on Italy's Amalfi Coast, a truly special spot that looks like heaven on earth. Positano is this charming little town hanging onto cliffs above the Mediterranean Sea. It's famous for its pretty houses painted in warm colors, all arranged like a beautiful stack going down to the water. The streets here are tiny and unique. They're full of small shops that sell things made right in Positano, from cool sandals to pottery and yummy lemon goodies, thanks to all the lemon trees around. The main beach, called Spiaggia Grande, is a great place to chill, with lots of colorful umbrellas and a nice pebble beach to swim or take a boat ride from, exploring secret spots along the coast. There's also this big church with a fancy dome called Santa Maria Assunta looking over the beach. It's really old and peaceful inside. If you love food, you're in luck. Positano has amazing seafood and you can eat a delicious dinner with an incredible view of the sea. For those who like to hike, there's a trail called the Path of the Gods. It has some of the best views you'll ever see, with the coast, the sea, and the sky all coming together. Positano is not just about the looks, it's about feeling the place. The sweet smell of citrus trees, the nice Italian sun, and the sounds of the sea, it's all here. But honestly, talking about Positano doesn't do it justice. It's the kind of town that changes from a peaceful getaway in the daytime to a fun and happening place at night, and it's so lovely it'll make you want to come back again and again. Number 4. Milan. 
The fashion capital of the world, it is a super stylish city that everyone should visit. It's not just the go-to place for the latest trends and shopping, it's a city where old meets new in the coolest way. The big star here is the Milan Cathedral, known as the Duomo. It's this massive church that took 600 years to make, all covered in marble with tons of little sculptures. You can even climb up to the top and see the city all around you. There's also this old fancy shopping center called the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II. It's got a huge glass ceiling and tons of fancy stores, it's great for just walking around. For the art lovers, Milan's got The Last Supper, that super famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci. It's a must-see, but make sure to book your ticket early. When it comes to fashion, Milan is where it's at. They've got Fashion Week, all the big designer names, and lots of cool spots to shop. And the food? Amazing! Whether you want a quick coffee, some classic Milanese food like creamy risotto, or something fancy, you'll find it all here. Milan isn't just about city life, though. There are nice parks where you can relax, like Sempione Park, right next to this giant old castle filled with art and museums. Nighttime in Milan is buzzing too. Whether you're into opera or just want to check out some bars, you won't be bored. Number 3. Cinque Terre. Cinque Terre looks like it's jumped straight out of a postcard. With five small, bright villages sitting on cliffs above the sea, and lies along Italy's northwest coastline. Why is Cinque Terre so magical? Each of its five towns, Monterosso al Mare, Vernazza, Corniglia, Manarola, and Rio Maggiore, is special in its own way. Imagine bright and colorful houses all piled up, places to eat with fresh fish from the sea, and cozy little squares where people from the town hang out and chat as the day ends. There's this amazing trail called the Sentiero Azzurro, or Blue Trail, that connects all five villages. Hiking it gives you incredible views of the Ligurian Sea, vineyards, and the villages themselves. But remember to wear good shoes, those paths aren't always easy. The water in Cinque Terre is super clear, just like glass, which is awesome for swimming when it's hot out. The beaches might be little and have some rocks, but they are still really nice places to relax. Now, about the food, it's amazing. Cinque Terre is known for fresh pesto, anchovies that taste nothing like the tin stuff, and Siacatra, a sweet dessert wine that's like sipping on liquid gold. It's not only about how things look or taste here, being in Cinque Terre feels like you you've stepped back in time. Life is easygoing and everything is pretty, from the sun going down over the ocean to the sound of people laughing on the streets. Number 2. Siena. Siena, a charming city in the middle of Tuscany, Italy. It's like traveling back to medieval times with its old buildings and streets that look much like they did hundreds of years ago. It's so special it's even protected as a World Heritage Site. The star of the show in Siena is the Piazza del Campo. This shell-shaped square is famous worldwide and for good reason, it's where the heart-pounding polio horse race takes place twice every summer. The energy of the polio, with its vivid costumes and passionate rivalries between city districts, is something you have to see to believe. Just as stones throw from the piazza is the magnificent Siena Cathedral, a marvel of Italian Gothic architecture. Its facade is a work of art, and the interior is equally stunning, with intricate marble floors and priceless artworks. Life here seems to move at a slower pace, inviting you to savor each moment and embrace the Italian concept of Ila Dolce Vita, the sweet life. Number 1. Rome. The heart of Italy is Rome, a city that's not just beautiful, it's epic. Rome is like a time machine. One minute you're walking in the footsteps of gladiators at the Colossal Colosseum, and the next, you're tossing a coin into the Trevi Fountain, just like in the movies. It's a city where ancient ruins meet with the excitement of today's city life. The Roman Forum will blow your mind, it's like an open-air museum packed with ruins that whisper secrets of emperors. Then there's the Pantheon, with its giant dome and oculus that shines light on thousands of years of history. But Rome's beauty isn't just about the big-ticket attractions. It's about wandering down cobbled lanes to discover gorgeous piazzas, sipping espresso at a sun-drenched cafe, and feasting on pizza that'll ruin all other pizzas for you. Let's not forget Vatican City. St. Peter's Basilica is a masterpiece, and the Sistine Chapel? Michelangelo's ceiling will have you neck craning for hours. 
And the vibe, oh, the vibe. There's an energy here that's all about living la dolce vita. Rome invites you to eat a little slower, drink a little longer, and soak up every moment of its jaw-dropping beauty. Don't forget to subscribe for more beautiful travel destinations and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our journeys. Until next time, ciao e arrivederci.